Be careful how you use it. So, Brendan, now we are in the BRZ's bigger brother. Yes, this the is WRX. And uh, this one happens to be the TR version. Trek ready. Yes. Which, oof, speaks to our soul. Yes. Because we absolutely love this stuff. I uh, love getting on the racetrack, especially in a manual transmission, which both of these Subarus have been. Thank you, Subaru, for saving manuals. We appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> so this thing is not a full-blown STI. Uh, there are a lot of different bits and suspension pieces and things that are STI-like, or you know, they've upgraded the brakes. So you got six piston Brembo's up front, two piston in the rear. That's going to help a lot. Oh, that's going to be really nice. Yep. They've revised the suspension. Um, they've done basically it kind of like everything they would have done to an STI, except it doesn't have a uh, split diff. Like you can't change the torque you vector. Can't, yeah, you can't adjust between front and rear. Yep. And, yeah. And we still only have 271 horsepower, uh, whereas if they would have done an STI, it'd probably be around 320. Yeah. So this might be, unfortunately, as close as we get to an STI. Interior is really nice. Um, I will tell you this plastic steering wheel is not the best in your hands, but uh, but still, you know, very nice interior. It sounds good too. Yeah, it does sound good. I always like that sound. Okay, ready? let's go. Six thousand. Oh man, it cuts power on the red line. <laughs> Lane departure warning. Yes, yes, I've departed. Six point four nine on the zero to sixty. Okay. Two people in the car, so. Boy, but it man, does it feel planted and stable? Yeah, it's, you can tell it's much more firmer than the uh, BRZ was. And it's the all-wheel drive that helps a lot too. So I don't have to really be concerned. It's a little bit of understeer there, but the turning was pretty good. The thing is that it pulls to the red line and then it cuts. Yeah, it's immediate, yep. So you gotta be paying attention to your, your red line. I'm at fourth gear, red line 102, 104. I missed that heel toe again. I gotta get thicker shoes. But bad, pretty good through that chicane. That weight transfer was a little more noticeable than the BRZ, but absolutely beautiful. All right, so this How is- the brakes, they feel good. Real good. I gotta press a little hard to get not as much out of the brakes than the BRZ, but that's because this is a heavier car. Yeah, yeah. So that's why they put the six pistons in there to make sure you can still stop. But it's actually really good. For a car that I know with an all-wheel drive system is going to weigh more, it's performing as and, and expected. And it's, it's, it's a larger car it's on top of it. Right. So. It's four doors. This is a sports car you can take to the track at the red, rev limiter again. It's because it pulls to the red line. You don't really feel yeah. it coming off. It sneaks up on you. Yep. And by the way, I, I, we've said this in the other videos. We literally sit down in these cars and start driving. We didn't have any practice lap or anything. Nope, this is we the just, only lap we're getting. This is the only lap we get. Um, really stable right now. Wow. Yeah, 70, 71. I can give it some more. Yeah. Bridgestone Potenza tires. So, which is kind I'm of- I'm out the red line again. Yeah. The it's gearing, kind of weird though that you were getting a little bit uh, faster in the BRZ. Maybe because it's just a lower center of gravity. Yeah, feel. definitely lower center of gravity. Like the all wheel drive helps to combat that in this car. Um, so it, it kind of it gives you confidence to go faster because yeah. you, you don't feel like something's going to slip out on you. But man, it's six, they, <laughs> when they say 6,000, they mean 6,000. I mean, the, the gearing is, I'm in fifth gear right now. So it's definitely a lot taller in the, or uh, it could use some taller gears, but it doesn't have the, the STI's power for that. That's why sometimes the WRXs of past years would be quicker to 60 than the STI because they would put taller gearing yeah, in the tall STI. Yeah, taller gearing, yep, exactly. Like that is very confidence inspiring. Yeah, that's nice, very nice. Very really, this car gear. is very easy to drive on a racetrack. Heel toe is in a great spot. The steering is really phenomenal. Brakes are great. And it's just, you just gotta know when to shift. <laughs> And get used to that shifting uh, spot because uh, not that anything bad happens. It's just you run out of power. You're like, Whoa, what happened there? Man, Subaru really brought two great cars to this rally for the racetrack. 
that BRZ was fantastic, and this thing was really awesome. I mean, if you did a year-round car that you want to be able to take to the track, here's yeah, your car. This, this is this is really nice, actually. Yep. Especially I mean, the, with the manual, so you can have a lot of fun in right. it. Right. Dying breed, um, all-wheel drive, stick shift, may, uh, you know, sports car. That's a dying breed these days, sadly. I mean, yeah. we both kind of grew up on our Eagle Talons with all-wheel drive and... Uh, and manuals and they were great cars but this thing nice job nice job so this has been paul and brendan for sons of speed uh we will see you on another episode of lap please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell and uh, we'll see you soon take care